today's video, we're gonna try and recreate some of the most iconic moments in all of football history. <laughs> now, how do we decide what the most iconic moments in all of football history are? I had ChatGPT, the artificial intelligence, decide for me. So all of the moments you're going to be seeing in this video have been chosen by the all-knowing ChatGPT. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video because the last goal that ChatGPT had me recreate was absolutely insane. All right, so first up, we're gonna start off with the iconic Roberto Carlos free kick. Everyone knows this one versus France. The, I think this is the best free kick ever taken in my opinion. It's so difficult. Let's see how we do. All right, so this Roberto Carlos free kick is insane. The curve he has on it, the swaz, next level. So we had a pretty good attempt, pretty happy with that. I think we can get it even better though. Here we go. Ah, it's way too much. Start to hurt my toes, this one is, the technique is crazy. It's difficult because you want to hit it max curve, but that's a difficult shot, this. So that was the Roberto Carlos free kick. Pretty happy with the recreation. I want you guys to rate it out of 10 how well we did. It wasn't inside of the post, but I'll take it. It's a long ways out. It's a difficult shot. On to the next one. Next moment, we've got another free kick. This one is by David Beckham against Greece. One of the most iconic free kicks as well. This one sends England to the final of the World Cup. Straight from the middle, top left corner. Let's see how we do. This should be pretty easy. First attempt. Wall's close. I have to say, my wall is pretty big. It's a huge goal right there, but we'll, we'll get it. Oh, that was the good technique. Technique was there. Now it's just got to go on goal. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Only need three attempts. Bottom of the crossbar. This one was better than David Beckham. I right, only needed three attempts for this one. It's not going to get better than that. We're moving on to the next one. Easy as that. All right, so that was David Beckham's free kick. Only needed three attempts. I'm so happy with that. Bottom of the crossbar. It will not get better than that. So we're quickly moving on to the next one, which is Juninho versus Barcelona. Free kick in the Champions League. Absolutely insane. He curves it top far, far top right corner. Madness. And this is from far away as well. Right the way over here in the corner. All right, Let's see how we do. All right, for the record, I do want to say Juninho only had two players in the wall. We've got a full seven aside goal here so it's going to be much more difficult but let's see how we do first attempt let's go oh, that's way off probably have quite a lot of power as well it's very far away so kind of a mix between a curve and a power free kick that was pretty good okay jabulani magic ball whoa more curve oh it was so close it's so far away as well the power you need to put on this together with the curve Perfection by Juninho. Top corner. Ah, it's not good enough. All right, come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, that's the one. Keep going, attempt number 55. I don't even know. Oh, but this one's for the GK fam. To prove that goalkeepers can take free kicks and properly. Let's go. Whoa! <laughs> Does it count? <laughs> I use the crossbar a little bit. Comment down below if it counts or not. I'll give a few more attempts, like three, and then we're gonna go on to the next. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> oh my days, I knew we could do it, I knew it. This one's for the GK fam, you guys. If you haven't joined yet, join the Discord down below. Join the GK family. Oh, I'm happy with that. That took a lot of attempts, man. Hats off to Juninho, man. What a shot. This is so difficult. Next up, gloves are coming on. Not just any gloves, guys. These have recently been released by Titan. Titan X Dutch goalkeeper gloves are now available if they haven't been sold out yet because there's only 2,000 pairs available for you guys. So if you haven't yet, check out the Titan web shop and get these if they are still available. First save we're doing is seen as maybe the greatest save in football history. And of course, I'm talking about Gordon Banks versus the Brazilian legend, Pele. Cross comes in, Pele heads it down to the ground. Gordon Banks makes a spectacular save to push it wide. It's such an insane save. It's going to be difficult to recreate, but... Let's see how we do. Here we go. All right, this one is going to be relatively difficult because it's only me and Oppie here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the ball up to him, run into the goal, and then it's kind of like a cross has been set in because we don't have a third person, but it doesn't matter. We'll get it done. We need the bounce. It was a good save. It wasn't a bounce though. 
such a good save. The header's got so much power and it's basically crossed the line already, the Gordon Banks save. And he's kind of clawed it off the line, which is insane. So I'm pretty happy with that recreation. I'll take it. It's difficult with two men. On to the next one. Let's see what AI has to say. All right, we're going to keep it going with the goalkeeper theme. Next up, we've got David Seaman's iconic save in the FA Cup semi-final. Arsenal versus Sheffield United. Corner comes in, it's get, it gets headed into the goal and Seaman pulls off an absolute wonder save, clawing it off the line. Relatively similar, Gordon Banks' save, but this was one-handed, really stepping backwards and pushing it off the line. Absolute madness, so here we go. First attempt, I'm going to throw it out to Oppie. Oppie's going to head it back, and then it's up to me to claw it backwards from the goal. Oh. I saved it with my hand and my head. Does that count? Oh. Oh, I think that was it. Comment down below how good you think that recreation was. It's a very difficult one, man. David Siemens, absolute beast. Let's go on to the next one. Next up, we have a save by the one, the only, the black spider, Lev Yashin. This is in the World Cup, I believe, versus Germany. It's a free kick from around here, and it's a huge top corner save by Lev Yashin. And this also, Lev Yashin is the man who kind of invented goalkeeping, who made it big. Oh, this is one of the most iconic saves in football history, and I'm so glad AI chose this one for us. Whoa. What a save. Black Spider. Whoa. 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 <laughs> It's very similar, but I think he went two hands. I'm not sure, but I'm still happy it was a huge save, top corner save. Right, so that was it for the Lev Yashin save. I'm very happy with that recreation. I want you guys to let me know down in the comments who did it better, Lev Yashin or Dutch goalkeeper. Let me know. Let's move on to the next moment. Oliver Kahn, Champions League final, Bayern versus Valencia 2001. It goes down to penalties and Kahn saves three penalties two on his right side and one to his left tipping the ball onto the crossbar with his top hand three absolutely bangers of penalty saves let's see how we do all right so at this point can has conceded two penalties so he's got to save all of them Oh, let's go. And that's how Khan won the Champions League final versus Valencia in 2001. The next moment we're going to be recreating is a World Cup moment, a free kick by Ronaldinho. And I'm glad the AI choose, chose this one. It's a banger. It's similar to the Juninho free kick from relatively far away. A curving goal and he curves it over David Seaman. Absolute madness again in this free kick. We got Oppie in the goal and we're shooting from around here. Far curve into the far corner of the goal. Let's see how we do. All right, so there's not much power to this free kick. It's mainly all curve. It's a very high ball, but David David Seaman, the goalkeeper, thinks Ronaldinho is going to bang a cross in, but he goes for goal. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I was close. Oh, I thought that was it. That's the technique, though. It's got a curl over the goalkeeper. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. A bit less curve and it's in. Didn't even get to cross. Oh, I think that was perfect. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. All right, let's check the replay, but I'm pretty sure that was almost perfect recreation. Once again, guys, comment down below who did it better, Dutch GK or Ronaldinho. Next up, we got another free kick by the one, the only Zenedin Zidane, and I feel like the AI is just choosing all of the legends in the list. But this is an absolute banger. He bangs it from around here over the wall. It's a power shot in the far left corner of the goal. All right, let me tell you guys, I may be a goalkeeper, but free kicks are a bit of a specialty of mine. So this is for all the goalkeepers out there. Hashtag GK fam to show you guys that goalkeepers, we got a good kick in us. Really struggling to get the dip on it. It's a tough one, this. Whoa, that's so much better. I just need to switch up the technique a bit. Oh, 
Nearly destroyed the GoPro. Because <laughs> if you look at the setup, you definitely, as a goalkeeper, you're gonna think he's gonna go top right corner because the wall's set up there as well. And this is the trickery of, this, of Zidane, curling it all the way to the other side. Oh, this is it though. I told you, I got the technique now. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> double crossbar. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it, I'll take it. So that was it for the Zidane goal. We struggled, we hit the crossbar, we hit the double crossbar, but eventually we did get a pretty good recreation. Once again, let me know who did better, Zidane or Dutch goalkeeper. I'm thinking Zidane won this one. But on to the next one, we have a free kick by Lionel Messi, the one, the only, one of the goats. I'm not gonna say who's the goat, Ronaldo or Messi, you guys can let me know. But banging free kick for Barcelona into the top corner. He is left footed, of course, I am right footed, so I'm gonna mirror it's on the other side. There's a tiny little gap to the right. That's where we want to curve it, right into the top corner. Should be doable. Here we go. That's the technique though, that's what we need. Oh, I, I'm glad the GoPro survived that because that was so close. Yeah, a bit higher. That's the one, that's the one. Oh, I'm happy with that. That was perfect. Oh, I was struggling for a bit there, but we got it in the end. That's a good one. I think Messi's free kick had a bit more of a dip to it. Mine was kind of more direct, a bit more power, but I'm happy with it. Once again, let me know who did it better, Messi or Dutch goalkeeper. Time for the final free kick. And this one's absolutely insane. Hakan Chalanoglu from 40 meters. I can't believe AI chose this one. But yes, Mr. AI, I will do what you tell me to. So about 43 meters from the goal. Here we go. That's the halfway line. We are super far away from the goal. 40 meters at least. And he decides to bang this one, an absolute bullet, straight into the top corner. So we're gonna try and replicate this. I think this is gonna be the most difficult one that AI has chosen for us, but I think we can do it. Here we go. No, know if we're gonna be able to do this. It's so far away. Even Jurgen Klopp, the trainer at Dortmund at the time, he was just kind of like, well, what just happened? One. Yeah. That's gonna happen quite a lot, I think. It's crazy, because you're just straight ahead of the goal. There's no angle, it's just... Oh! That's the one, that's the one. We got it. That would have been it. If it was a bit lower, that would have been perfect. Okay, I'm relatively happy with that. That was pretty good, but not good enough. Not even sure this is even possible. It's so far away, it's just ridiculous. That was a banger, honestly. The wrong corner, though. The wrong corner. Oh. One, two, three, let's go. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. I think it was all right. It wasn't perfect, it was good enough. I'll try a few more, but I think that was all right. It's just you're so far away, you can barely aim the ball. It's just power. Ah. Uh doing the best I can guys it's so tough though my legs are tired I really want to get this but we're so far away look at how far the goal is like come on it's ridiculous Chalanoglu is a madman just let me go oh. <laughs> I'll take it I'll take this one my day this was a tough one man let me tell you Chalanoglu is crazy 43 meters it's so far away now, we had a lot of tries a couple of good attempts I had two good ones I'll put them on screen you guys can choose which one was best and that was it for having AI choose moments for us to recreate I hope you did enjoy the video guys if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next one